reboot I'm cold red, my service automated Like data running through my veins Got you distracted, subconscious overloaded Careful, don't pull the cord on me This is the final stretch. So we have a few trucks that have made it this far already. And we're gonna review them quickly and then we will head off to the last challenge here where we'll focus on towing and performance. So we have a few variants of the TLX 3500, including the monster truck. We've got the square body Chevy. And we've got a Ford F800 from the 80s. Fantastic trucks, all in. Any one of these would be great uh, for you to use. But we're gonna find out what's actually best for us here. Got a lot of different things to tow. We're gonna take the heaviest thing we can. We're gonna try to go up a hill with it. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it plays out. Start with the square body. So square body does have a gooseneck hitch, does have a rear hitch, so towing options are endless. We'll go ahead and we'll take one of the gooseneck hitches here, get hooked up and we'll get something on the back of it. I am interested to see if there's any collisions on these log poles as we, uh, as we turn, so we're going to keep the log poles out. You can put them down, as I showed in the last part here, but no collision. So. It's unrealistic, but it's actually good to know. We'll get this trailer unfolded. This is the TLX. Uh, it used to be called the Versatile Trailer. Now it's called the 50-foot trailer. This is a trailer in 19. It's been expanded and brought forward into 22 to be able to tow uh, pretty much anything the game has to offer. It does also auto-load pallets and auto-load a few other things in the game as well. Um, I think we'll start off here with a big bug. As a reminder, um, I actually asked Reddit what would be the heaviest things in the game that we could tow, and I've pulled all of those in here from those suggestions. Um, the enhanced vehicle mod also tells us exactly how heavy things are, so I have them actually lined up here by weight. We're going to roll it over the scale so you guys can see that as well um, and then we can compare it so the scales will tell us total vehicle weight including the trailer you'll notice we've got a few different trailers down there as well um, because the uh, FDR equipment is about two billion pounds um, legitimately like two billion pounds you'll see when I roll over the scales with it it can't be towed with the TLX trailer it actually kind of breaks it and starts glitching the game so we have a different trailer. Um, <laughs> about six months ago, I tested out every single trailer in the game and figured out which ones could tow uh, really heavy equipment, and those ones actually can do it. So I will use those trailers when I'm towing that equipment over there. Um, that's only if any of these trucks can actually compete the 
normal heavy stuff that I'm going to throw out it. So we'll take this through, put it on the scales, take a look at what it's got. Also, I just remembered I never put a scale into this. Um, so we'll do that real quick here. Uh, we'll just use... Not that one. Mm, maybe that one. Yeah, this one's probably best. So we'll face the display backwards uh, from where we're looking right now. I'm not looking to make this beautiful. Uh, it's just going to be used for the challenge. The way this weight station works is we'll roll over it in that little display there, right hand top corner. That's going to tell us what the weight is to a specific point. Um, yeah. Uh, that'll kind of help us out. Uh, it will bother me if I can see that texture through there, so we'll just kind of clean that up real quick. Paint it up and pretend like that never happened. Probably could have used a bigger brush. Still could have used a bigger brush. It's all good. Looks beautiful. And put some uh, pretty flowers in here too. So uh, looks like the way that the map is. Um, good call out while we're in here. When you are doing decorations and things and landscaping, it's always good to uh, blend different landscapes, different paints, and everything along those lines. That's what makes things look a little bit more realistic. I'll probably do something on that at uh, some point here in the future if everyone kind of continues to like my voice and these take off then I'll probably do it a little bit sooner. Alright so back to this truck. Um, Square Buddy's done really well throughout all of this. I've been very impressed with this mod. Um, I wasn't expecting anything to be honest from it. Uh, to be honest I didn't know what I was expecting from any of these. See how this does here. Try to get the camera in a good spot so we can see the weight. Uh, we've got quite a good amount there. I believe this big bug configuration is about 34 tons, somewhere in there. It's quite heavy. Um, I did opt not to do the crazy wide wheels just because I needed to be able to fit through the challenge. So let's talk about how this is going to work. We are going to drive up the hill and uh, get as far as we can with this weight. If we get stuck, cannot go up the hill I will put down a cone and the next vehicle will trail the exact same setup to see if they can beat it if they can we'll have them tow something heavier and so on and so forth so it looks like we got stuck right up beyond that tree I'm gonna give it a lot of gas here and try to see if I can get past it um, what ended up happening if you didn't catch it is the front of the truck actually picked up and it couldn't steer there um, because the weight was actually pulling it back. I do have the trailer balanced pretty well. Um, we do want to keep physics in the game are pretty close to real life, so we do want to keep the weight as close to the axle as possible versus towards the tongue. Um, this way the trailer is holding a good amount of the weight and there's less tongue weight. Yeah, this thing's not going to be able to do anything. So we'll just disconnect the trailer, get that out of the way. Put the uh, square body up here for now. Actually just remembered I'm gonna need this in a different spot later so we'll uh, just kind of park it down there All right, I believe the map comes with cone yeah there we go we'll use the flag this comes with the map this isn't a special mod and we're gonna use that just to kind of outline where we got to there before we started to kind of pull off now we'll uh, get this something a little bit lighter just because it couldn't make it with that so we'll go grab uh, the next lighter piece of equipment that we can find and we'll try that out and if this can make it up it then that kind of establishes the weight uh, <laughs> the weight capacity that this thing can tow up that hill if that makes sense so it's definitely not gonna be able to tow the, the FTR equipment uh, we can possibly tow something else though. Let's take a look.
It is important to note as well, I've tested a lot of trucks in other aspects. You know, we ruled out quite a bit in here because otherwise this thing would be, this is already a seven hour video. Um, this would be a lot longer if I didn't roll those out, but in other maps I have ran into problems where other trucks, pickup truck models, can't even tow this trailer. Um, so it, it is very valuable that this, yes, I'm putting goofy, ridiculous weights on, on these things, this is the Volvo from the Platinum DLC, so we'll get that up on there. Um, we'll expand the trailer, just the width of it there. Very good mod. Can expand the uh, bed part and the, uh, the back. Just really fantastic when you do it this way. Uh, and you can still strap it. But back to what I was saying about the, the trailer. So I've seen a lot of mods where they can't actually even tow this trailer. You'll hook it up and the truck will essentially like glitch out and won't even be able to tow it at all. So the ability for this truck to even tow this trailer is fantastic. And it's, it's valuable for me to know because uh, I absolutely love this trailer. I use this trailer on every save game. Um, we're using it in the Mississippi series as well. It's just fantastic. Alright, so this should be a little bit lighter. A um, little bit less wide too, so it might actually tow better. This is the same, uh, this is the, the, the biggest Volvo that you can get. Um, this is the small size one. So we, yeah, a little bit lower there, as you can see. And we'll go ahead and give this a try going up the hill. This uh, hopefully will make it because if it doesn't, we'll just, we'll just grab something lighter and we'll kind of baseline it based on that. If it does make it all the way up, that's fantastic as well. Same deal. If it gets stuck, we'll put a cone down. And we use this as the metric for the next vehicle. Almost. All right, cool. So that's impressive. This is uh, quite a lot of weight. Yeah, the big bed's a little bit heavier, um, but that was pretty easy for that. These hills, no problem. So we'll take it. We'll just do a light towing test here through hilly terrain, and we'll go park this in the next phase here. Um, should clarify as well, this challenge should be a little bit different than the previous ones. The trucks aren't going to be eliminated in the same way because they're most likely not going to get completely damaged. Uh, obviously if they can't tow anything then I will eliminate them, although I don't anticipate that being a problem. Um, really what we're looking for is what does it best. So this one was able to climb the hill with the Volvo, so that is the weight limit on this one. I guess also important to note, it seems that anything can tow, uh, oh boy, huh, there, we'll just use super strength to correct that, that can happen to anybody. Uh, so pretty much any truck can tow anything on straight ground too, um, straight flat ground. So that's why the, the hills are important, because most of the maps you're going to play on are going to be somewhat hilly. Truck does look nice, towing those. It's a good good size. It's not too small of a model or anything along those lines. Um, just spitballing off the top of my head, I do remember as well that the, uh, the Lizard F350 can't even tow this trailer. Um, if I remember right, you hook the trailer up to that truck and it just doesn't even go anywhere. Um, I think there's like some weird uh, way in which those hitches go. Probably tabbing through things was a bad idea there. Bunch of broken trucks throughout. All right, TLX 3500, uh, same test. So um, this one does have gooseneck. We've got the winch on here in case you missed it in the last section. We get the width from 82 Studios. Uh, this, this winch is fantastic and you can still utilize the 
gooseneck uh, afterwards, which is fantastic. So we'll get that locked into place. And just, just really cool. Um, you can put this winch on anything with a fifth wheel or a gooseneck. Alright, uh, what do we think? We'll just throw the truck while we're at it. And turn it back off super strength. So the, the problem with super strength, you go to enter a vehicle and it's the same button configuration as if... Uh, his entry is, so you end up just throwing the vehicle. Alright, let's grab... Let's grab the big bud. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Looks like we're gonna bring, uh, bring Scarlet with us here. It's actually good to know for me that the big bug does have that position. Um, so I actually could do some camera angles from there, which is pretty cool. Try to line this up in the best spot above the axles. I'm looking at the body of the truck to make sure the truck's relatively level. level. Um, you can see it's, it levels out once I lift up the ramps there. It's pretty good, pretty, pretty level. Um, if it's not level, you'll end up lifting the front wheels off even sooner than they should, which means you will lose steering, um, and that can be a huge problem. So, we already know how much this weighs, I won't focus too much about it, but we will still roll over the scale. It's actually towing this very well. Now what is also cool about this thing is uh, we have a winch, so if we do get stuck we can pull ourselves out now. better so far. That's where we're going to get stuck. Right by that tree up there. So we'll place our cone. We'll just leave the truck to kind of slowly fall down the hill behind us. That's okay. So this one did Better than the last truck. All right, so let's let's try the winching thing. Um, I can also display here what I mean about the locking strap. So that is the only problem with putting one of these in the bed is you will hit the locking strap quite a bit. You got to get it kind of just the right position. You can move the winch in the truck though, um, so that can kind of help. I'll put on the heads-up display so I can see what I'm trying to do. Um, you'll see it's the same button configuration here for me. But eventually, if you do get it, just the right position. I'm not doing this thing justice. The mod is fantastic. Um, I don't, it's absolutely not meant to do this. You're supposed to put it on a tractor trailer. But I do want to show that it is possible. Find the right point here. Take the trailer off. Get 
that out of the way. Oh yeah, that was that was easier. So the trailer was kind of in the way for us. So we'll wrap this on this string, I think. You gotta be in first person to do that. Alright, that's probably good. I think this tree would actually break if we try to do this in real life. Give ourselves enough slack that we can hook this back up. Alright, now let's just use the winch controls and we'll set cruise control at the same time and we'll see how this plays out. I always make the mistake of winching in the wrong direction at first. So I was loosening it there. Um, you notice I have cruise control on, uh, change to a blue, and it'll kind of stay that way. And we'll start pulling. Uh, it's also worth noting, so since this beat the last marker, I know that it'll be able to do I know that this is the uh, towing project it would get stuck on, right? It would have been able to do the Volvo, no problem. Drop the connection here. Um, I also froze time. Um, you may have noticed that in some of the videos as well. I did that because of the lighting. I didn't want to change the lighting too much on this map, so I kind of froze the time and kept it at that. Otherwise, with such a long video, uh, the light would change so much between takes and it would have been an issue. So we'll, do, we'll do this a little bit in first person, just see how it is. Uh, we do have good mirrors, I can see the trailer. Which is good, I can see that it's on the road. Got our pile of trucks still on the, the field there. Try not to hit that one too bad. Take a look at how fantastic this thing is. I do like this paint job quite a bit. Looks really good towing the, uh, the big boat as well, without issue. Alright, cool. Tap back through until we find the vehicle. So much carnage. Okay, cool. Um, next, 3500 um, TLX. Very similar configuration. Uh, we do have the actual bed here instead of the flatbed. We've got different tires. So. If everything's gone like the rest of the tests, the tires won't make too much of a difference. But it's worth just making sure of. Should note as well, I've got recovery vehicles uh, on this part. I haven't used them yet, but I have a, a modified uh, EMR RAM out here um, with the engine that I utilized in my uh, Dodge versus Ford towing short where it towed like, I don't know, 15 big buds. Um, I've got a very heavily modified class tractor, Axiom 960, but with a lot of horsepower. Um, and I've got uh, the FDR truck, 
The FDR truck comes with the FDR package, um, or the FDR mods. It's probably the most powerful thing that you can tow with. So if anything actually really gets stuck, it's probably gonna be fantastic. I also have a red big butt over there with the modified engine. So uh, for this one, because we know that this one got stuck with the last thing, let's make sure we push this a little bit further. This is a loaded sugar beet harvester. So sugar beet harvester alone is already one of the heaviest things in the game. Loaded up with sugar beets. Um, don't worry, I didn't actually harvest these. I had a friend harvest them. Um, it's now about 93 tons. So that's about 180,000 pounds plus the truck plus the trailer. Let's see what it looks like when we get over the scale. Um, as much as it did a wheelie there, it is towing it on flat ground. We'll see if it can make it any way, shape, or form up the hill. Not too bad. Not getting stuck here. That is a lot of weight. Yeah. So it's quite heavy. Alright, let's see what we can do. Give it as much as we can. I don't anticipate this is going to make it up if it, if the last one, same truck, struggled on this hill with a lighter weight. It's actually not bad. Alright. It's just about going to tie where the, uh, the square body got to. With a lighter weight. So put the two there just to symbolize that was with the loaded sugar beet. Um, let's do this dance again when we try to figure out if we can get the winch going. Um, as we learned, taking the trailer off is better. This is where it's going to be a little bit trickier because the locking strap is legitimately right over it. Pull up the heads up display just to make it easier on our lives. Same downs. It's going to be tough to kind of do it in here. Um, it actually seems harder with this one. At least once I took the trailer off the other one, it came. It was able to use it right away. But because that tension belt like goes right over that bar, um, it might be pretty hard to pull this off. Do you have any idea that if this doesn't work? I think because I can push it back, um, you can reposition this thing. My trailer's going places. Um, if I push it kind of all the way back there, it might make it easier because there's no locking strap right in that position. So we'll see. Yep. Perfect. All right. So there's always that track. Um, so just to summarize on the flatbed. Uh, as long as there's no trailer on, it's pretty easy to grab the winch rope on the non-flatbed, uh, the regular body. Really all you gotta do is just shift it back and then you're in a good spot. Not too bad. As I said, this will work on any truck uh, whatsoever that has a gooseneck hitch or uh, a fifth wheel or uh, any type of semi-truck. We'll use the same tree here. Was strong enough last time, it should be strong enough this time. 
I like to do it pretty high up. Um, this way I don't get pulled through the ground. So I'll just jump and lock that in place. Okay. Just put everything kind of back together here. Move that forward, just that easy. Put that on. Hopefully we don't glitch out and become a rocket ship by doing all of this connection. Or do that and disconnect the winch. Wasn't quite in position. So while this is connected to the tree, can I put it back in the truck? Um. I promise this was actually looking smoother in my head before I tried this out. Uh -huh. yeah, let's just lift the truck up a little bit so that we can put the winch in. I mean, obviously I could just pick up the truck and pull it up the hill too. Pulling the truck. <laughs> A lot going on here. <laughs> this is just ridiculous. Alright, um, I don't want to do this. Put that. All the way up there. And, yeah. Disconnect that from the tree. <laughs> Put that back in the truck. Um, we'll pretend that was successful. I'm sure it would have been if I uh, didn't eject <laughs> the winch out of the back of the truck. Remember, motorcycle always goes towards the driver. Turn off super strength before you get in the truck. So you don't throw it across the map. And yeah. So. Let's just pretend that worked. Alright. when you're inside of it. Um, okay, so it should still be able to do this small help. Just bring this forward. Okay, apparently can't do the small hill either. It's a good thing I didn't start with the FDR equipment. I don't think we would have been able to tow that anywhere. The sugar beets are pulling us down already. This is just ridiculous. As a reminder, I did say I wanted to push this truck because the other variant of this already passed with a lighter load and I was okay with it. This one I wanted to kind of... Mm -hmm. It's not cool. And the, the harvester's starting to shift, too. Um, it's kind of going the wrong direction here. <laughs> right. yeah. Can we... Yeah, okay. Um, Axel's kind of through the truck now.
the beet harvester is just shifting a little bit further, further, further each time. Oh, now I've detached the entire bed. <laughs> I suppose that is the negative too. Uh. <laughs> it's been a long challenge, guys. For those of you that uh, are watching the, the supercut version of this, where you're watching it all straight through and have actually watched it from start to finish. You're living it in the same way that I did it, right? I did it straight straight through um, with just breaks for snacking. So you probably are as tired as I was when I was making this. Yeah, we'll just tow it sideways. I'm sure that's fine. We probably won't have any more issues. Just take that uh, Lizard F-350 with us. It actually kind of fixed it. Uh, put us back almost straight on the trailer. We're still drifting. I don't know why the sugar beet harvester is not locking down on this thing. I think maybe it's just too long. Let's try not to flip here. We do have to take it at some speed so we don't have to start over with doing wheelies. I think that looks great. <laughs> oh man. This is a nice looking truck. I just have to remember to stop before I hit the other trucks that are parked a little bit ahead of us. Kind of like a low rider thing going on. Oh boy. Here's my beautiful display that I had. Alright, nobody saw that. Okay, it's just... <laughs> Just sitting on the bed there. Let's tap through until we find uh, the next truck. Um, we did that one. Did that one. Alright. I'll just kind of take anything that's going to get me over to this general vicinity. There's too much on this map. Two left for this part of the challenge. Um, so this is the uh, 82 Studios TLX 3500 monster truck. Um, now the monster truck, um, this particular monster truck does hook up to a regular trailer. It does have an adjustable hitch. So this will work. Um, does not have a gooseneck. So no winching this time. Use store deliveries here real quick. want to 100% confirm that he didn't hide anything in this. You can in these situations though. Um, if this doesn't work, which I don't think it will, but I just want to confirm. Again, motor side towards the driver's side. And you should turn off super strength so you don't do what I just said. Uh, you can get the 20 foot version of this trailer. It's a different mod. Um, but you can get that with a winch already on it if you have Platinum DLC, so it's not the end of the world if you can't get the winch on here. You can get the winch for the trailer. Um, I did use that. Interesting enough, can we 
use the locking straps. <laughs> we'll find out. It'll be the same problem for the locking track here. I mean, that might have actually worked, but... Is it just one side? Might be that you only get the winch wire when it's actually hooked up to the truck. It's a problem for another day, though. Uh, so as I was saying, the 20-foot version of this trailer is a different model, uh, different model altogether, but it does have a Platinum DLC winch on it. I did use that uh, in the Lamborghini Challenge. Worked really well um, for pulling logs and stuff up onto the trailer. So that's pretty cool. I do know as well, or at least I've seen, and maybe by the time you're watching this, it will already be out. Um, I believe Alien Jim did a, a video where he was he was testing basically a, a thing that goes onto a truck that then you can connect a winch to it. Which I thought was really really cool so if that ends up working and you have a winch on the trailer you could pull vehicles onto the trailer great for all play great for if the vehicle has maybe gone into water deep enough and it's totaled essentially you could trailer it back to repair it um, it's pre pretty cool um, I'm excited if uh, Alien Jim does it I say if he's definitely going to do it it's just a matter of when man's a wizard So this is the Hannibal, uh, I believe is the code word for it. This is the, yeah, it's the Hannibal, it says it right there on the pole. This is one of the heaviest pieces of equipment base game. <laughs> it flips the entirety of it. Should be able to tell it though, we'll see what happens. So this has uh, more power than the regular 3500. But I think double. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna take out all of these trailers. All on it. See if we can even get this thing over the scales to figure out how much it is. I think it's also hurting it that not not just the weight, though I mean the weight is ridiculous, but that I have the hitch so high up. So let's see if we can lower that hitch quite a bit. level this out a little bit uh, if I can find the control there we go so by lowering it lower the center of gravity of what's getting pulled on so maybe it won't lift as much maybe it will it's worth rolling out At least Scarlet's decided to ride with us in this ridiculous adventure. Ah, uh, it's not doing terrible. Now that we're up to speed. Granted, we're on flat ground, but I'm pulling one of the heaviest things in the game with this monster truck. Suck though. All right. Um, let's see how far we can get with this heavy piece of equipment.
I mean, jeez. Is it gonna do it? It did it. Wow. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. So, this can tow better than the regular 3500. It just can't pull a gooseneck. Huh. That's interesting. I mean, this part's a little bit ridiculous too, though. Could you imagine using this in a realistic time lapse series where I end up just doing wheelies all the time because I'm trying to pull, I don't know, something ridiculous in the time lapse series? I do like it though. Well, let's see how it plays out with the rest. I mean, it's not even really flipping or anything through here. It's no problem. That's that's really good. Now, uh, how's stopping? I'm probably gonna hit that. No. That was good. That was really good. Alright, yeah, we'll just teleport this time rather than. This is what I probably should have done each time rather than uh, jumping around. Alright, last one for this part. It's the first half of this video. We'll try out the. Ford F800. Remember, this has no configurations, no different engines or anything along those lines. Literally, the only thing you can change is colors. Um, so we'll hook this up here. Um, yeah, I'm just cutting the goose neck. Why is it going through the bed? Let's turn on the heads up display just to see if we have. There's no connection point. Alright, we'll switch this over to um, bumper pull. Because apparently we don't have a gooseneck hitch on that, which is it's fine. Some trucks don't. I mean, we were just in the monster truck that didn't. There's no bumper hitch either. There's literally... I could have saved myself a lot of time by not even testing this one. I could have rolled it out in the beginning. I didn't realize it didn't have a hitch. That sucks. Alright, well... This thing is, um... I no longer love it. I did love it for a minute. So you know what we do when we don't love something. We'll put this exactly where it belongs. Exactly where it belongs. With everything else that I no longer love. Fans of my series, you know what that means. It goes to the street for sale. Back in Hobo's Hollow. All right. So what do we have? Four finalists, two TLX 3500s, we've got the square body Chevy, and we've got the monster TLX 3500 XTRM edition. Let's test them all out and see which one's the best out of these four. It does say a lot that all of the variants of the 3500 made it here, except for the short cab one. Uh, the the two-door version that Alien Jim had on this map to start with is the only one that failed and may or may not have been because I got excited and was just driving too fast uh, in that one, one section. 
So, probably would have made it. We're going to disconnect this. And we'll go ahead and hook up to a fully loaded mother bin. So, learned about this recently because we were... It was the first time I was actually really using the mother bin. Uh, we were in a multiplayer session. Um, we were trying to see if we could tow a fully loaded one because we'd always heard that uh, the mother bin can't be towed. So we had figured we would fill it up and then see which of our vehicles that we currently had in the game uh, on the map could tow it. Um, we got a little impatient and so we decided to use it as an auger wagon which actually worked and we were able to tow it with the Jeep. So it's not quite as heavy um, as we thought it would be if you have a good amount of power. Now um, this doesn't have that much power, this truck. If you remember it, it was only a few hundred horsepower, but it's doing all right so far. Um, so what we're going to do here is, you heard the beep, we're going to lock cruise control and we're going to lock uh, enhanced vehicle and because this is a straight shot here, it's uh, I think a 90 degree angle. Um, we'll just see how far it goes. Failing here is wherever it comes off. So for those of you that don't use Enhanced, what Enhanced does is it uh, sets a course for like your, your tracking, your percent, your degree, and it keeps the vehicle straight and it'll kind of correct itself by steering the vehicle to bring it back to where it needed to be. So if you get far enough off course, it can't bring it back as quickly. So that's what we're going to kind of see here. We've already got the mother bin off the tracks and now we've got two wheels off the track on this. So we'll put a flag up. Um, this is as far as this one made it again, started in the middle. Um, it's pretty good to be honest. I mean, this is a, this is a crooked pathway. I uh, didn't know if anything would actually, if these trucks that made it to this point would even be able to tow the mother bin, let alone anything else. So um, it's not too bad. Let's we'll see if we can kind of get this off of this section. This is going to be an interesting part of the challenge, too. It's a good truck, nonetheless. Remember, there are many configurations on this, and I did that in part three when I went over all the configurations and if there are any log errors or anything, and colors and everything on this. You can get a regular bed, you can get a flat bed, you can get this forestry bed. You can also fold down these forestry stakes even on this bed so you can make it look um, a little bit less forestry and not even change the configuration, which is pretty nice. Right, let's grab the next trailer. Um, next truck as well. Uh, what do I want to take? We'll take this one. We'll go in the same order in which they got down here. So we'll leave this. here and yeah let's go have the next one all right let's go ahead and just grab the next one in the line here hopefully I can get this out of here pretty easily and still make that turn Don't want to get stuck on anything. Alright, that's good. So, same test. Get to a stop, line it up, set cruise control. So it just punches it and locked in hands, and let's see how far this thing goes. Oh, uh, might fail already. I am not touching the steering at all. Keep that in mind. I'm just letting it ride. Seems to be fixing itself. Okay. Oh, it's doing really good there. I think we'll make it past this point. Alright, we've technically eliminated the square body in this challenge. The 
suspension on that. It's just so well done. It's kind of tranquil to watch. Again, I didn't expect any truck to be able to to do this well. It's really good. It really doesn't seem like anything can slow down these CLX pickup trucks. This is, it's incredible. And what's wild to me is this is uh, 82 Studios older model, right? Like they did this back in 19. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I know he's touched it up over the years and continued to evolve it, but this isn't like the newest one. Um, this isn't the, the 2022 or the um, 1982 that's uh, on his way might actually be out by the time this video is released. But it's fantastic. This guy just, he really knows how to build vehicles. And it's on all platforms, everything. We got some loud droning in the background just because I think I have an engine running somewhere else, but it's okay. I don't think it's going to have any problem with the rest of this. It's, it's pretty incredible. So let's let's talk a little bit about uh, how this kind of challenge has went so far. I mean, we've got four trucks in the winter circle here in this current state. Only one of them is PC only um, and not available on Mod Hub. The rest of them that won this, in, you know, are, are not won, but are in winning this competition so far are all cross-platform mods um, that can be used on anything. Which is wild to me because a lot of times you'll see comments and videos and things where it's like, oh, I want, I wish we had these crazy trucks in, uh, in console. And why don't we have them? Well, there's two reasons. One, there's issues with them, as we showed. Uh, we had some log errors and things along those lines. I had frame drops. Um, and two, the it's the consoles actually, the the console makers that don't let giants use those brands I, this made it through the entire part so when when you blame um and you see in the comments that they, they will blame farming simulator they'll say like oh, why doesn't giants let us it's actually the uh it's the console manufacturers um that don't let them do it so this is like additional licensing that they need um things that i think games like forza and, and other companies have to go through to do that so um, instead, you're able to do these, let's do this at full speed by itself. Um, to end up with these, you can make trucks that look similar to them, but you can't use those actual brands if they're going to work on console. Um, so really, it's the, it's the con console manufacturers. But that said, that, that, you know, past that rant, really what I'm getting at here is like, uh, cross-platform already has the best trucks. This look at this thing. This is going. I don't even know how fast. Flying across this without an issue. It's not even. It's, it's basically dancing on this thing. This is fantastic. Fantastic. All right, I'm gonna get those lights off. 
still hear a droning in the background. I think I think something's still running, but that's okay. Yeah, let's take the orange beast. Oh, let's disconnect the bed as well. So what happens when you play without a HUD, by the way? We'll just disconnect everything while we're at it. We'll turn that on so we can see what the heck we're doing, actually. Make sure we have the correct implement selected. the right thing disconnected. I think I mentioned it before, usually I have uh, the HUD disable alt one uh, option which allows me to quickly toggle. Uh, however I had to remove a lot of script mods on this because everything was causing conflicts with half of these mods. Which is another reason why the cross-platform mods are and the Giants tested mods are really good. They don't have conflicts. I can put on whatever mods I want with this uh, TLX 3500 and not really worry about it because it's not going to conflict with things. Interesting, uh, I was going to say this one's actually doing not so good, but actually it's stuck on the other trailer. Um, Alright, maybe we can just kind of move the other one out of the way here. You can't lift these, though I don't think, because they are even too heavy for super strength. Yeah. Could probably do it with a stick, but that's going to cause a lot of issues. I'll end up throwing it halfway through the map. Um, for those of you that are on console, actually, that is a good trick, where you don't have super strength. Just use a stick that you can pick up, or anything that you can actually pick up, and you can hit other things with it, and it will move them even if they're heavier objects. It's a cool glitch. Does work to get through things. You'll see, like uh, Mr. Silly P will do that, um, or at least he did do it in some of his series where he had to move some things around. Can we take this one? Yeah, yeah that's no problem. Just leave this last just problem for the last uh, monster truck when we get there. All right, now I am going on a very rough angle here, so we'll kind of line this up and then let it ride. So this one has a, a slight disadvantage where uh, I'm starting in the middle of the course here. That or the tires actually do make a difference. I'm either hitting something or I'm getting stuck on the, the ramp here. There. There's no saving that mother bin, so we'll just we just sold that. Um, let's see if I can separate these ones and give this a better shot. I do, I don't want to, I don't want to come this far just to have the truck have an issue just because I didn't line something up correctly. Um, I think I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm going to need something a little bit bigger to separate these two. And actually, while we're back here, just because there's one section of stuff we didn't use back here. Um, as I mentioned, as I throw this, <laughs> just put that back and hop in it. Alright, um, so yeah, so, just want to see, yeah. Right, turn off super strength there. So, let's try that again. Um, didn't get to use the FDR towing so let me show that off real quick while I need to get this recovery vehicle anyway because I'm going to need something that can tow. Um, this is the EMR truck but I have modified it to be able to do ridiculous things. So this is just something that I generally use but uh, it never made an appearance really in videos. I think it's been in one, one or two shorts. I figured might as well throw it in here.
I don't know if you notice, but it looks like some of the trucks that were totaled have respawned to a different area. So we're just going to set the tripping point actually all the way over here and just get those out of there. Those are the ones that fell in the water in the last challenge. This one too. It's just kind of, they, they spawn wherever they want. It's a weird thing. So um, if you leave a total vehicle on a map and quit out and then come back in, which I did to go to Hobos Hollow before for that part. Actually, I don't want to throw that that far. You might need that at some point. Um, when you come back into the map, the vehicles will just spawn wherever the heck they want. Uh, that was not where the cell point was, so I don't know why it did that. It did show them on the map, but I don't... Yeah, it's, it's really wild. And it shows a third time. So, I have modified this truck here to be able to tell ridiculous things. Um, I haven't really used it in videos. Uh, just mostly because it's one of my own modifications of someone else's mod, and I just didn't feel like doing that, but... Um, felt like a good opportunity to bring this in. So, we're going to tow the FDR equipment, which none of those trucks could have. Just to show how powerful this thing is before I go solve some things. Um, this was also in the competition in the beginning. It failed because it couldn't make it through the rock crawl. So even though this thing's got ridiculous power and does work for some of my needs, it's not going to work for all of my needs here. So, yeah, and this, this trailer is like a homemade trailer that is stuck. It's a homemade trailer mod. Uh, it's on Mod Hub. It's, uh, it's like this little rinky trailer, but for some reason, this trailer can actually hold the FDR equipment without breaking it. You can even strap it down. Straps don't work tremendously well, but nothing really straps the uh, FDR equipment down really well. You're not, he's actually said, FDR himself has said you're not supposed to strap the equipment down because it's not supposed to move. Um, yeah, once I can remember how to lower those ramps. I think it's left stick and like RB RBLB one of them. Problem is the truck also has a lot of options. There we go, there we go. Yeah, that's how we got it. Alright, so let's do that again. Alright, much better. Okay. So just grab the first one. Um, all of this equipment is the same way. I just bought one of each here for this map because they look kind of cool. Um, but they are all identical weight. Um, he actually has the the weight specs copied. So uh, what, whatever whatever from this lineup that we tow, they're all going to be the same. Let's see just how ridiculous this would have been if any of those could have towed this. Um, sometimes it'll glitch with, yeah, and just push it, so you just kind of use the front, pick it up a little bit, and there you go. You're on. Now this one, because it's got four wheels, you can kind of put it forward more. Doesn't matter too much because it's going to slide all over the place, but we'll see how it plays out. Yeah, look at that. I'm actually pulling it. No wheelies or anything. No problem. That's so why I was going to use this as just the recovery, but I didn't end up having to recover any of the trucks so far. I do have to recover the sugar bait trailer that I crashed into, though. Even this, though, with, uh, I don't know, 30,000 horsepower or whatever I gave this truck. It's still going to struggle with this much weight because we're, we're just in crazy leagues. A lot of people always ask, like, well, why is this stuff so heavy? Um, in order to be able to log uh, more realistically in the game, he actually made the uh, these pieces of equipment very heavy on purpose so that they're actually balanced properly when you go to do some logs. So really the weight is to counteract some of the unrealistic aspects of the game and then so this being more unrealistic basically balances that 
um, and does really well. So you see a lot of, even that's really into logging that does PC is going to use FDR's equipment. Um, and the reason, yeah, now it's shifting. The reason I got into uh, this specific setup here was because um, a lot of times when you start out, you have to make a decision of whether or not you're going to get a, a semi truck um, early on or get something like this where you can still tow that, right? So you either can get a semi truck and no tree forwarder, or you can get a tree forwarder and a small trailer. And so a lot of times I would end up buying this setup rather than getting a semi truck that I wouldn't use right off the bat. I don't know if we're going to be able to even get this thing to the scale today, but we'll give it a try. Or two. Uh, ridiculous. I'm pretty sure that's what it says. Yeah, ridiculous. Alright, we'll leave that there. Um, so let's go save the sugar beet trailer. I do like on this this edition. Um, so if you do select this this style where you've got like the mechanics bed, he's got like the drill in the the body there, just on the windshield or on the dash ready to go through the windshield as we're driving like 200 miles per hour. It's a really cool truck. Really, really good job. If this one was a little bit taller. This one might have been the winner. If I really knew how to mod, I'd probably add bigger tires to this thing and, I don't know, like exhaust stacks or something. And, uh, yeah, call it a day. This, this one might be the winner, but I don't know how to mod, um, not to, not to that style. So, okay, let's see if this can pull this out of the way with all of its power. Okay, yeah, no problem. Get that lined up there. We'll just move that out of the way. All right, cool. Now, back to the challenge. Let's get the orange TLX hooked up and start towing this thing now that it's now that it's in a much better position. Not a problem. Same deal. Locked cruise control. Locked enhanced vehicle. See how far it goes if it falls off then it will put a cone up where, where it lands. Or we'll see if it makes it through like the last TLX did. First set of cones we'll row through here in a minute is for the square body Chevy GMC style truck. Now we made it past that section. So again, because it's a similar configuration to the other 3500, it's probably it's probably going to prove that the tires don't do much of anything. But not that the tires really need to do much of anything. Really the only difference on this vehicle um, has been the length has been a real issue. So we when we have the shorter length on the regular standard cab, the two door, two passenger. Um, that's the only one that we actually struggled with, but we might have struggled with in air. Looks like we're not going to have any issues here. Sound is good.
I think we're gonna we're gonna make it through no problem. So 3500 TLX. Nothing we've thrown at this thing has caused it any issues. It has been uh, just fantastic at anything we've tried to have it do. It has made it through entire rock crawl, caves, everything. It has made it through towing. It has towed really well. It's got um, plenty of power. It's nothing ridiculous. It doesn't launch too quickly or anything along those lines. It's just really fantastic and now here you can see it's got the suspension to handle anything we needed to. It is a very forgiving truck to drive. It will help you when you're driving it, meaning that if you make a tiny mistake, it will just be forgiving. It'll it'll allow that and it will be easy to correct. I mean just I'm not touching anything, I'm not touching the steering, I'm not touching the gas, and this thing is able to go right through this without veering off course too far. It's, this suspension travel is just fantastic. We're nearing the end here on this one. We got one last truck to put through this path. Um, if I'm honest, I don't expect the same from the monster truck version. I think the bigger tires are going to cause an issue, plus the higher center of gravity. But we'll see. All right, that's through, no problem. beast. Absolute beast of a truck. Alright, so we'll leave that there. We'll head back and we'll take the other side just to see <laughs> how ridiculous this can be. Uh, we'll do this at full speed with nothing behind it. I'm not touching anything. We'll see what happens. It's already going bad. It's okay. Uh, we're off the track. Be bad when it cracks itself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So we've got that fixed. We'll pretend that didn't happen too. Uh, still got a truck running in the background, but I'm not sure which one at this point. Oop, we're so far into this, we're just going to let that ride. You know what these trucks sound like. Let's take the monster truck, and uh, let's figure out how this one does. i got to get this disconnected first. And let's see if we can... Yep, we'll just kind of make our own way. Just get out of my way, big bud. Okay. Last one to do sugar beets. We'll get this all finished up here, guys. Now you're eager to see the results. <laughs> Every time I tell anything with this, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to go to get straightened up with where I need to be. Because the problem is when the front wheels aren't on the ground, um, can't really do well. If we back up, though, we can kind of. We'll get there. Uh, this is ridiculous. Uh, yeah, it's not even straight. Alright, I'll try to straighten it up. Definitely more power than the 3500 though. The 3500 got stuck trying to reverse the other trailer, if you remember. Oh my, okay. I mean, 
I mean, I messed up, but it's it's proving that the thing's actually really, really good. Right, let's just let it ride. <laughs> it does better in reverse than it does in forward. Because in reverse, at least the front wheels stay on the ground. Th this... <laughs> It's, 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 I, I don't even know how it's steering right now. I think because it's steering, it's steering the trailer. If you watch the wheels on the trailer, it's like, because the front is... <laughs> oh my god, that's ridiculous. Okay. It's like dancing to the music right now. I wouldn't recommend that. I mean, it, it's working. It's gonna fall off course here. Or get stuck. Yeah, it got stuck. What do, what do we get stuck on? Can we pick it up? I don't think we're gonna be able to pick anything up here. Keep forgetting these these are ridiculous. These are heavier than anything else we towed. Yeah, it's, um... I got stuck. Or is it? Wow, it's amazing. Oh, I mean, let's see what happens. It definitely didn't even make it as far as the square body, as you can see, before falling off the track. Granted, I didn't start this one the same way, but... So, in terms of this test, we'll rank them as a pair of 3500 uh, crew cab regulars. Absolute winners in this part here. Not a problem. The square body, second place, because um, the other two are tied for first, and this one third for this part of the challenge. But in terms of pure towing power, um, the monster truck towed the most back here. It towed the Hannibal. So it's definitely, it bumps it up a little bit, and 3500s uh, beat the square body. So really. If we're to balance the numbers, it's really like 3,500 says top. And then this one is a very strong second place. Square body pulling in third place. That is impressive. So the top three vehicles are all one mod. And they are all cross-platformed. Top three are essentially the TLX 3500 Crew Cab Edition, um, big tires, dual rear wheel, uh, and the Monster Truck Edition uh, with with the uh, the silage wheels. Although I think we would have been fine with the other wheels too if I got the narrower ones. I got too wide of wheels if you remember, and I fell off um, into the water, which totaled the other Monster Truck. Uh, it actually totaled two of the Monster Trucks, so it is what it is. Alright, this thing's essentially stuck. I do still have super strength on I don't think I'm going to be able to pick it up. Probably going to have to disconnect and get the uh, helper vehicle over here. So we'll do that. I don't know what's running. <laughs> what else is running? Something's running. It wasn't those because I had to start those. Get the uh, get this off the truck. Just move that out of the way too while we're on it. Just drive right up on it. That's no big deal. Yeah, let's just get this thing 
we're stuck on the monster truck. There we go. Um, so in case you're wondering, what, what did I modify on this uh, RAM model to be able to get it to where I need it to be? Um, I increased the weight by a lot. Um, weight does help with towing. I gave it way more power um, and adjusted the gearing to my liking, um, adjusted the brakes, and then the most important thing on this one in particular uh, are the tires. I actually created my own configuration of tires based on the friction that I wanted. The friction level is important. You'll see on things like um, the Jeep with its new update with the tracks. If the friction coefficient, depending on where the friction coefficient is, like the tracks on that Jeep are fantastic. They won't even spin um, if the engine can't do it, right? So you won't just sit there and do a burnout. But other variants of the Jeep, I think some of the, the Lizard or the, uh, yeah, I think it's the other Lizard tire, the big beefy off-road tires that you can get on that. They will just sit there and spin because the coefficient's not high enough. Um, which it's supposed to for that model. I, I'm, I'm not, keep in mind, I'm not knocking the, the XJ. Um, that, that particular configuration, I'm just using it as an example, will just sit there and spin on purpose because it's meant more for uh, speed. Uh, whereas the tracks or the Continental tires on that XJ, um, they'll actually, they, they'll, if they can't tow it, if you hook up to something like this where it can't tow it, they won't actually even spin at all because they, they won't, the, the, they kind of end up struggling between the coefficient and the engine power. Um, so yeah, so tires can make a huge difference. Here, um, you know, we can see that this one, it probably could have made it. If I really, really wanted to, I probably could have made this monster truck make it all the way down the path. It would keep falling off though because it can't keep the front wheels on the ground long enough to actually steer correctly. So uh, again, we'll call this the last place for this particular competition. <laughs> it's really funny looking. It's like it's waving at us. Alright, I'll disconnect that one. Let's get this back. With all the other vehicles. Just punch it. Same deal. Oh my. Oh yeah, that's... That's not going anywhere. If you do it just right, I mean that's pretty. That's pretty cool. Yeah, like a washboard. So there we have it. That's the recovery truck. So we'll keep that out of frame. These are your top three. Undisputed. Absolutely amazing. Um, square body is not far behind so if you are on PC square body is a very good mod I do really like that but these three they can't be beat by anything um, I lost words I'm really shocked I was not expecting that to be the result of this and no I'm not sponsored by 82 studios at least yet maybe he'll watch this and he'll sponsor me So let's take a look at all the carnage for those of you that are just jumping in um, just for that last result. We tested all of these trucks. This is the F450 Platinum model. Um, it's did terrible. As you can see, it's right here at the beginning of the entire map. We've got some other trucks in here. We've got the Lizard F350 over here on the left. We've got Ram. Um, we've got the base game trucks. 150. I, I do really like that F450 though in the beginning. I wish it did better. You got the 350, Lizard 350 corner over here. They all failed in the exact same spot. Um, wanted to give them a really good shot because I do really like that truck as well. They all failed, even with different tires, different lengths, different configurations. These ones failed in the water, um, but they spawned out here. So we've got TLX 2022. We got GMC truck and a Chevy base truck. 
they all did really well, but they couldn't make it up the rock section. We got the monster, uh, monster power plowing truck here. This one, really cool. I actually do like this one a lot. Um, drove a little bit too fast and hit this sign. It probably would have done better. Um, it's not without error, but it is... Oh, where's that? It's a good truck. I might use that. Um, we've got the EMR truck here. Uh, just didn't quite have the ground clearance to make it up past that rock, or that, uh, this right here. Got stuck on it, much like the TLX 2020 did as well. Just too long, a little bit too hard to get across there. Got the Hummer. That got stuck on the bridge. We've got uh, some of the ones that are left here in the water that haven't been totaled yet. It should be. Across the way, we've got the ones that couldn't make it up the rock wall. We've got the old Dodge Ram truck. we got the Tonka Toyota truck. We've got the uh, Mercedes. The name is, is slipping me at the moment. Unimog. The Unimog is there. That one did a lot better than I expected. Really beautiful as well. I do recommend that one. Um, especially if you're doing like a European series. It's just a really cool truck. Do I do like that one a lot. Um, got the Volvo. Mighty Volvo that's come in clutch in a lot of situations here. Still got something running in the background. A whistling Diesel's truck. Got another modified GMC. Both these did really well. Tires were an issue here where we had to go on a very narrow path. It is what it is. Um, they were good. We got the old Ram uh, 350, I think is the name of it. It's an older Ram pickup truck. It was good. Um, same deal. Got stuck where it couldn't go through that narrow bit there. Got one of the lizard monster trucks here. This is cross platform. Fell right off this section. This one didn't have a tow hitch either. <laughs> oh. Good thing that didn't make it any further than, than that because I would have been really upset with that one as well. Speaking of which, that F. Uh, 800 which did really well um, is for sale now because that was terrible lost a lot down in that bay um, got a little bit of water lost two monster trucks in there we lost alien Jim's version of the th uh, 3500 somewhere in here was it that far in no it didn't make it this far did it No, it was back a bit. Where did I leave it? Yeah, I was going to say it'd be embarrassing if it made it just 50 feet shy of the end. It's going to be like right around here. Get right through this cavern, I think. So we're going a little bit too fast through here. Ended up turning. And there it is. That uh, was the single cab version. I'm sure it would have made it, to be honest. But did we really need another 3500 at the end there? Pretty cool. Well, that's the results. Um, so now that we know the winner is, let's take the last, I don't know, 10 minutes here. Take a nice good shot of them and then let's let's just do some some funny fun things. That copper bed. Now again, when you're starting out from scratch and you decide to buy a pickup truck rather than a semi, you can buy a dolly, 
to tow some things. So let's see. Can I tow the dolly with us? All right, cool. Can I tow a fully loaded log trailer? This is the FDR equipment, so it's already ridiculously heavy. But we'll tow all of that. And let's see if we can go up something steep like we were logging. Because I wonder. And this is actually practical because if I'm doing a logging map and I want to use this monster truck, could I? Without buying a, uh, a semi truck. Well, front's not lifting as much, which is good. Same deal. We'll lock cruise control. We'll lock enhanced. Let's see what happens. It should make it. So close. Alright, so if you are trying to pull logs up a mountain, probably not. I guess if you drop the rear trailer, you probably could make it over and then just go back for the rear trailer. So one other really cool semi-secretive feature of these TLX uh, trucks, not the monster truck, but the rest of them. Did you know that if you take off the back and don't have a bed on it, if you line it up just right, you can tow any semi-trailer and it doesn't hit the bed. There's no collision. So, wouldn't recommend that you do this all the time, but when you need to, it's pretty convenient. Maybe you just need to move something around the yard real quick, or you want to just jump off of a really big jump in dirt real quick. should mention this is TLX... Uh, Auto load trailer. It's amazing. Look at that. Oh boy. Didn't realize that was that steep. Alright, that's not a problem. Not a problem. Just kidding, we have a problem. Um. Come on. Come on. There we go. Not a problem, like I said. So that's it. And that's where we're going to leave it. The absolute best truck in the game. It's a TLX 3500. Crew cab. With dual rear wheels. Second best is the TLX monster truck third best is the square body Chevy. Fantastic. Guys, I hope you enjoyed. Um, and if you have ideas for other challenges, let me know. Hopefully one that doesn't take uh, as many hours as this one took to put together and do. But whatever you guys want, I'm here for you. Let me know if you have questions uh, about the game that I can help out with, things you're wondering, like maybe how much grass there is on No Man's Land or something to that effect. 
Let me know in the comments and uh, hopefully I can make some cool content for you guys and answer some questions that have been keeping you up at night. Um, with that, thank you.